Welcome back to the messenger. I'm glad there's no, uh, what's it called? No error meter? Oh, yes, that too. What I are you? I think it was more, of? uh. Thinking of like a. What's it called? Take your time. Oh. I feel like there would be something here. Oh, there will be, just not right now. Like some games, when you're swimming, it gives you like ice, like ice controls, you know. Oh, where it's all drifty and crappy. Yeah. The hell? Yeah. Oh, hello there. Woohoo! That was some fancy dancy moves. Spliff. All right, now you can upgrade for your next health. <laughs> You're going for the cabinet again. Need Upgrade. Anything? What's this do? Oh, you can get more. This X will be knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Oh, nifty. And you sure ah, can... the shuriken. These Your mind's handy key. Does this recover health? It does. It's nifty. Yep. You turn to his body. These will sometimes drop the globe that, that restores one hit point. Nifty. Uh, concealed chainmail chest piece makes you more resistant. Defense up. Incoming damage of two or more will now be reduced by one. Ah, defense. Yeah, awesome. very, very, very nice. Key charge benefits. plus one. Shurikens pierce one target. Checkpoints now restore hit points up to five and refill all key charges. Nifty. And you sure I can. Yep. So you have three shurikens right now. Need anything? No. Nah. Oh yeah, try a uh, press up by that uh, glowy ball. Nothing. Oh damn it, not yet. Okay. Must be later then. Uh -huh. Oh right, you haven't unlocked these. These guys will come into play later. These are uh, time fairies. So yeah, your shurikens oh. are very strong right now. They do about one hit of damage, so they're mostly good for nuisance guys like this. You know, easy one-shot enemies. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Nice! I'm Damn loving it. it. I'm loving the moves. Yeah, you're getting the hang of this real quick. Ooh. Wasn't there another ninja game we did very recently? Oniken? What? Is that what you're thinking well, of? I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd count that as ninja. I was thinking of something else. Chinko. Oh! <clears throat> Maybe I'm just imagining it. Cause we haven't done like a Ninja Gaiden game or anything, as far as no. I know. God, that would. Maybe we could do a uh, Cyber Shadow. Yeah, I was pretending on it. Right, right. Slap -o. Oh no! And the oh. Nice. I assume those uh, gourds don't respawn. Uh, I think they do, just not right now. They'll be back, like, if you leave the area and come... Ah, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. See, here's the f cool thing. You can access pretty much everywhere right now. Somewhat. Some places do need abilities that you have to unlock, but... You can pretty much just travel freely around the land. Damn. Let the slug cross, dude. <laughs> no! No, it's a principal matter now. 
<laughs> it's a matter of murder. Ooh, that'd be a good book title. A matter of murder. Oh. <laughs> All right, now you can go up or to the left. Murder. You're not gonna even see what's down there? Stuff. Alright. That is your personal choice that you get to make. Yes! Your first coin! The hell is this? so proud! You're gonna want these coins. I mean, you say that. I do say it. Oh, uh, the trophy's blocking my view. Challenge expected. So, it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. Not really. Oh, what was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? Uh, yeah. It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're some kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for the hidden rooms. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. It does. Anyway, I'll be in my shop. To the future! The hell? Well, you can't strike downward yet, so... Back you go! But yeah, you got your first coin! Whoa! Well, it's time for you to meet this little fella. Oh, a new oh, customer. Oh, a new customer. Hmm. The hell? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? Larry, nice to meet you. At your service. I'm the one you never would have met if you had any skills. You can actually get a trophy for never meeting him. Hmm. The gist of it is I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Oh. <laughs> also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So, I'll stick around and steal your loot until we're even or I'm bored. Hmm. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Uh, no, nah, I'm good. It seems we have a deal. <clears throat> Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on, then. Oh no, what it was is, uh, there's a trophy for never meeting him up until the boss fight. So now, until you give him however many gems he feels you owe him, he's just gonna steal them all. Like a douchebag. But that's okay. Soon you'll come to love Quarble and Quibble. But, you'll find her later. Ooh. He is a voracious little thing, isn't he? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, 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 go ahead. Goodbye. See you next time! It's snowing on Mount Fuji. Hey, look! Ooh. One second. In we go. Oh, the chest. What's with the big mysterious chest? Oh. Pure Ooh, I just made myself lightheaded. Holy crap. That sucks. <sighs> okay. It appeared when you smash your first power seal. Hmm. Oh, I... Yeah, whatever. 
So get all those and you'll get something very fucking fancy. Uh, second wind, yeah. Yep, that one's very helpful. Underwater dash, ooh. That'll be a lot Aerobatics more helpful. warrior. I believe that just lets you... Yeah, you know, I won't spoil Reduce shit. Reduce fine for saving your life by That 50%. one is That's... so helpful. Because Quarble can be a greedy little shit. <clears throat> Level boss. What do you want to chat about? Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention that there's a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? Uh, probably. You did. <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. <laughs> oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's... I didn't mean to... Well, good luck. What do you want to chat about? <laughs> I fucking Dick. love the sass in this game. <laughs> what, wait, what'd you say to me? <laughs> Alright, good luck. No. It's, it's pretty easy, just jump over him. You know, it's, it's kind of like fighting a woodman from Mega Man. Sort of. Oh. Jump in me, children! Whoa. Woo, yep. I see. You can duck underneath that and just keep wailing on him. What are you gonna do? Oh shit. You really gotta learn to duck that, man. Hey, you beat You're him! Dead. There you go. Yeah, that's wasn't See, difficult. no big deal. No, he's not. First boss usually aren't. No. <laughs> Alright, you made Forehorn it to the temple. Forlorn Temple. Step right up, don't be shy. A Forlorn Temple welcomes all newcomers. Mm. Wait, go, 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 go back in there. Yes. <clears throat> Need anything? What do you want to chat about? Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. How so? Haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Nah. I slept through them. Adventure types rarely do. I get it. So, the short of it is, that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened, that's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way! I will go and take down that Demon King right now! You wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery and sits on that throne. You are still too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. Bullshit. Ariel. I'm going. I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Alright, you want to put money down? Oh, I will. Any stories <laughs> to share? Do you have any stories <laughs> to share? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on it. <laughs> sleep on that pile of mattresses. <clears throat> the next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark, or that they could be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses, he went on. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile, so that someone who's extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you ever heard of what happened after? Huh? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. Prince would always complain. 
just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Mm. Tragic. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for that exact reason. It dawned on her just like that, how this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. What do you want to chat about? Anything? Uh, can't do anything. Onwards! I fucking, I fucking love these stories. <laughs> oh boy, are you gonna make it? No. Oh, too bad. Goodbye. To the catacombs with you! <laughs> uh. The hell? Oh no, you found this Slime little fella. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a Fubkin? Fubkin? We are a tribe of builders. Technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear which we are named after. Like the Smurfs, but more traumatizing. What's your name? Necro! Necrophobia! <laughs> the necro? So you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? It's almost like someone purposefully did this. I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I should really get back to work. Bye! Oh. Fucker! <laughs> Just everybody always has to leave really rudely. Zombie. Oh. Skeleton. Hot a zombie. Uh, right, right. The, the distinctions. I don't want to upset the undead fan base. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, cut to a skeleton watching our YouTube video. These people are racist to skeletons! Meh! <laughs> Oh, you're gonna want to go up there. That secret area you just saw. Yeah, I'll get to it in a second. Hmm. Mwah. Don't forget, you can stick to walls. Oh yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? Yes, break that. You know what this oh. shit is. You played Devil May Cry. Hmm. Be yeah, doesn't that feel good? Yeah, this game is riddled with secrets. Alright. Oh no, you fell prey to your own hubris. That wasn't hubris. What was it then? Oh. Hubris! <laughs> there we go. What the hell? What the hell? Who are you? What a dick! <laughs> I wanted we to all jump have those past all that. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, we all have those moments. That was more I was actually trying to get through that. Looked like you could jump it. A hundred. Come on, chat. Hey, you made it to the catacombs. Okay, anything I should know? Not really, it's pretty standard stuff. 
skeletons. And bats. Oh, evil wizards too. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, you bet. Time. A necromancer even took over. Spooky. Clichéd. I suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more original ones lined up. Alright, we can stop here and then yep. pick this up in the next one. Adios. See you later.